what's going on guys welcome back to the channel i do apologize for getting this video back out to you guys late but out here with the 2019 silverado updating you guys on the gerber collision mistake that was happening uh so real quick recap of the story unfortunately i backed into a rock and i'll show you that rock over here real quick which one i ran into uh can we squeeze through here yeah all right Here's our issue, boulder. You'll be able to see some of the black still here on the rock. But this is exactly where I scraped this rock. I did finally turn this rock so we have more of a straight angle now for when I pull the 20, uh, 2001 Dodge Ram into the driveway, I don't hit it again. Or with the newer truck, I don't hit it again for a second time. But this is where I scraped it. This point was on this side and I was backing the 2019 Silverado in here and I turned the wheel to the right to back in at this kind of left uh, to or right to left angle and completely took out uh, that side of the Silverado as you guys saw in that picture in that video okay coming back up to the front of the truck here so as you guys saw in the first video this is what the damage looked like and this is what it looks like now and this is what it looks like now today talking to you guys so when i went to pick up the truck from gerber collision everything was great here new fender so this whole section right here is brand spanking new this door piece here remember we had a block of chip protective film on here which we have to go uh and get back on the truck in about 30 days here to let this paint uh set and set up correctly before applying the film back over it absolutely glad that block of chip put that film on here and i had them do that because this saved my entire door or that film saved my entire do door from having to get replaced or having to do more costly work to repair this door damage that happened but went to pick up the truck from gerber collision and I'm absolutely grateful for my wife because she told me to make sure I check over everything before I take the truck and I'm glad she did that because everything was not correct before I took the truck as you guys know they did not replace this piece here there was that mark right here that the rock also hit on this uh step insert so this is now brand spanking new and they did not change out my front right mud flap here now it is correct and in the previous video i showed you guys that here's a little clip about that so the understanding is that this is not factory the factory mud flap is actually pretty shorter it comes out to about right here in length this is an aftermarket mud flap so the guy i was talking to which is running the show basically for gerber collision he basically uh did some phone calling around and is looking for this particular mud flap so they can replace that as well because this should have been replaced as well so i have to come back to gerber collision to get that installed if they're able to find it and hopefully they are so now everything is correct this is a brand new piece this is a new mud flap they had to finally find this mud flap and order it uh, this was i guess an aftermarket mud flap that chevy did put on the truck uh, before i bought the truck uh, they do have another factory mud flap that actually is a little shorter but they went ahead and put a longer mud flap on this 2019 Silverado so this is brand spanking new as well this mud flap and Gerber collision did give me a second one because they did order a pair so I do have a spare driver side mud flap as well so I don't plan on hitting any more boulders knock on wood I know that's not wood that's plastic but knock on plastic uh, but I do have a spare in case um, other than that guys I don't fault Gerber collision at all um, it, it was an honest mistake their guy looked uh, the truck over and 
as you guys know, as soon as I pointed out the issue of like, hey, was that supposed to be changed? No, yes, it was supposed to be changed, but it wasn't changed. Hey, was that mud flap supposed to be changed? Here's the same sing one that's been on the truck. It wasn't changed. He, 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 he immediately got on the phone and started looking for that mud flap. And that's great customer service right there. And for that, somebody doing that right then and there and taking ownership and owning up for their mistake or their workers mistakes so i'm going to be taking the corvette up to gerber collision in late march to have them take a look at it to get repainted to see what they can do for me with the corvette so that's good customer service right there of what happened with the truck and them owning up to their mistake of the insert step insert here not being replaced and the mud flap not being replaced and now those are both brand spanking new this fender again is brand new the door was buffed out and the paint was blended correctly and looks brand new obviously we've got a little rolled grime on here right now um, but that'll be pressure washed in a couple days here shortly so the issue was or the thing was that since I did take the truck, I had to then wait a few days for them to find this mud flap. And then I had to drive the truck all the way back up to Gerber Collision and Minor on Tyler Boulevard to get this mud flap installed. It took no longer than 20 minutes for them to pull the truck in, take off the old factory mud flap, put this new factory aftermarket mud flap on, which was the same one that they found and were able to find and it took about 20 minutes for them to throw this one back on or put this one on and send me on my way at no cost so that's it guys thank you guys for watching just wanted to make sure i updated you guys again on the 2019 silverado thank you for watching check out the links in the description below um, you might find something there you might like and want to buy off of amazon so check those links down below and i'll see you guys in the next one peace